time to get their dinners. Very, very hungry ponies. In this vlog, I'm going to be talking about what I feed my three ponies. I am really, really fortunate to have three. My first is Toby, who I've had since I was a child, and he's now 43. I've also got Hope, who a very good friend of mine gave me when she was young. And if you've been following my vlogs, then you'll know that I've also got Dream, who I rescued from the meat man just before Christmas. So today's vlog is all about what I feed them and showing you how I put it together. So baby dream, he has stud mix, which has really high levels of nutrients to help him grow because I want him to grow big and strong. It's also got a low amount of starch you can choose whether you soak this or whether you feed it dry. I personally soak it, but if you do something different with it, then please drop me a comment below. He has two of my big cups of the stud mix. They're quite full cups. like that and I soak that with about a kettle and a half of water he also tends to really like the chaff I have this chaff which is well it's really just a belly filler but they really like the taste because there's molasses in there and none of my horses are really prone to laminitis so I can get away with giving them things that are a bit nicer a bit sweeter so he has just a handful There we go, just a handful of chaff. There's not many calories in chaff apart from the molasses that's in there. So it is literally just a belly filler and it tastes nice. It's palatable for him and it means he eats all of his dinner. Next up is Toby. Toby, he's 43. He's a very old Pinto pony. And I've had him since I was a little kid. So oh, he's the oldest pony that I know of. If you know of an older pony, then please let me know anything older than 43. He also only has 10% vision in his one good eye. And I had to have his other eye removed a couple of years ago. I'll put some pictures up of that now. As you can see, he was an absolute trooper when he had his eye removed. Toby does not like being in a stable. He managed that time really, really well, bless him. So, on to Toby's food. Obviously, because he is so old, he is actually running out of teeth. He has to have a feed that compensates for that. I have Toby checked every year. I have a blood test for him just to check how he's going because of his age. The last time the vet came out, he did have a good look at his teeth and said that unfortunately he's running out of teeth. Now, horses have their length of tooth in their head from when they're born and then gradually over the years as they come down they wear them down and they just keep growing down and then I'll show you a picture here and then eventually they do unfortunately run out of that tooth that's where we are at with Toby so he has a really sloppy mix I put extra water in it and he has everything soaked so Toby has, first of all, two of my trusty cupfuls of conditioning cubes, which help him maintain his weight. It's quite high in calories and it also gives him a really good condition on his coat and just generally body wise. So he has two scoops of that. Nice, good scoops. 
I do soak all of Toby's food just to add that extra water to it. But if you feed yours a different way, then please let me know. Drop me a message in the comments. And of course, I am always open to finding out new ways that I can give him a better quality of life, give him better food. So if you know of anything that he might benefit from, then please drop me a comment below. The other feed that Toby has, and this is the really imperative one, is his common condition. It is a very slow release. Hello, kitty. It is a very slow release, high energy feed that doesn't heat him up, but it does really condition his coat. It's full of vitamins and minerals. It's got prebiotics and probiotics, so it's really good for his tummy, for his gut. And it also has linseed oil in it, which I do supplement. So he has a scoop and a half of calm and condition. He also really, really loves the chaff. I do try not to give it him because there is no calorific value. I use this size bucket because half the bucket is roughly the size of a 14 2 pony's stomach. The idea is to fill his stomach with as many calories as I can so I can keep the weight on him. With him being a very old pony, it can be really difficult to get the weight on him. But he does really love the chaff with the molasses so I do let him have a bit of that as well otherwise he does try to pinch hopes. My trusty cup again and he has that. The other thing he has is a supplement, um, a veteran supplement. I did originally start giving him a veteran feed and veteran chaff but he didn't like it so he was refusing to eat it so this just works out a bit better for him so he has a veteran supplement let me know if you want links to this and I'll put them in the comments below and he has a level a level scoop of this in his dinner like so He can also be quite finicky, as I've said, with his eating. If it doesn't taste nice, he's not going to eat it. So I do add some of this horse and pony mix. I just put in half a scoop. It tastes really nice for them. They really, really like it. And it just, I find that it helps him to be able to eat the full bucket of feed. So that's Toby done and now we're on to Hope. Now Hope, my absolute princess of a pony, I saved her life when she was a foal. She was given to me when she turned three because my horse died by my wonderful friend. She is one of the highlights of my life. She's so funny. Because she was bottle fed, she has a few issues with personal space because she does think that she's a person too and she does tend to be quite bossy plus if she eats her food first she will go and steal Toby's she has a feed that is a bit lower in calorie and a bit higher on the chewing scale I like to get her really chewing her dinner so it takes her longer then Toby gets to finish his dinner and then he'll just start pinching hers, bless him. Hope has, very similar to Toby, she has the Karma Condition Cubes. Because I do like her to have a lovely shiny coat and it does add the condition. I do find that if she doesn't have a regular feed, she does drop weight quite quickly. So I do like to keep her on an, an even weight all year round, if possible. But she does tend to put some more weight on in the summer. She also has 
common condition, just like Toby, but she only has one scoop. like toby i like her to have a really good coat i like her to have the linseed oil that's in there and i also like her to have the prebiotics and probiotics which are really important for a healthy gut she also has a scoop of mix because she likes the taste and then she doesn't steal toby's and she has a good scoop of that And I don't give Hope any supplements at this time of year. I do in the summer, but I'll do another vlog to show you what they have then. The main thing about Hope is she really does have to have a lot to chew. So that it takes her longer to eat. So I give her the stomach filler of chaff with the molasses. She likes the taste of it, but she has a full pink scoop. There we go. So that's Hope's scoop of chaff. Right then, now that I've put all the feeds into the bucket, it's time to add the oil. Now I do like to add a good oil to all of their feeds. It's quite high calorie, so you're getting the calories in there without taking too much space up in the stomach. And I give them a good glug. Right then, over the last few weeks before we managed to find the field that we've got now, which is wonderful, I had to move the horses around quite a bit. When you're in a situation like that, you don't know what the horses are going to be eating, whether the water is good enough, whether there's ragwort in the field. So I give them milk thistle, which helps with their liver, especially if they've been on a field that may have had ragwort or other weeds and plants that they shouldn't be eating because that can really damage the horse's gut. This helps with liver health. It's an anti-inflammatory. It also is an antioxidant. It helps fight toxins, which is the main thing that I like to keep on top of. Many, many years ago, about 20 years ago, I did have a man that died of ragwort poisoning. So I've always had the fear of that happening again. But another thing that's really good with is it can help inhibit laminitis. So I'm really lucky. I haven't had a problem with that, thankfully, too badly, over the last 39 years of owning horses. I think what I need to do is a full video on this stuff and the benefits because it really is good. So look out for that. And if you'd like me to do one quicker, then leave a message in the comments below. Right then. Let's get down to the yard. Okay, so Hope has hers first. Because she thinks she's in charge. Now Toby's going to borrow a bit. And then Toby has his. Has his floppy or Toby? Yeah, Toby. Toby, come. Look at your good eye. Here, look. There we go, good boy. Okay. Oh, dreams pinching. I take dreams dinner into the stable so that the big ones don't pinch his dinner. Difficult bit is getting him away from the two bigger ones. Come on, come on, little dream boy. Come on, hey, come, come on, come on, come on, because I don't want them to kick you. Come on, let's go. Here he is. 
He's so cute. And have your dinner. Oh, here's dinner. He absolutely covers himself in slop. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for other videos. Mm-hmm.